Hey guys, I want to show you the location of all 56 memory chips in Death Stranding. If you go to the memory chips menu, you can see them all. There's 56 total from left to right, top to bottom. So if you're missing number 43, there'll be this one right here, which will be happen to be the first one we actually get. So if you're just trying to find which one you're missing, just see which one's blank, and then you can skip to it by going into the description or the first pinned comment. Now we're going to find the first one here in Capital Not City. Actually, behind Capital Not City. So when you come out of Capital Not City, we're gonna turn around and head into this kind of little town area. And then you're gonna to have to put up a ladder and it's gonna be on top of this roof. Now it's highly likely, as it is the case in my game, that someone may have already planted a ladder here that is in your game world. Well, they did that because they went up and got this collectible. Many people, myself included, tagged them with the memory chip sign so that's always a good idea if no one's tagged it go ahead and tag it help your fellow trophy hunters out now remember you can hit r1 to scan and it'll show you a, the actual legitimate icon right there on the screen you just pick that up that is number 43 again look at the collectible menu and then kind of look and see which ones you're missing you can use the description or the uh, pinned comment below so after you've picked up any of these data uh, memory chips you have to go and return them to any of the delivery terminals now next up we're gonna go to the incinerator which is gonna be south of uh, the capital there and we have to actually go up onto the roof in order to get this one so go to the incinerator make your way up to the roof not very hard to do and then uh, hopefully someone's already tagged it for you but here it is in the corner there we go now next up is going to be the first collectible in that menu screen and this is going to be at the way station west of capital not city just outside of it just south of it is going to be the marker so there's the uh, uh the facility and we're just going to have just a little bit south i've already marked the location here so i'm going to go ahead and pick that up now remember some of these aren't going to be available until after you've uh, gotten five stars on the facilities and read the emails that pertain to the collectibles so next we're going to head down south from the distribution center. There's going to be a mule camp here, and there's also going to be a memory chip. This memory chip's going to be in the cave uh, that leads into the mule camp area. Now you'll see this is up above us. Don't forget you can always hit scan. You can also use the, uh, the towers as well to help locate the collectibles. At this point in the game, many people have already kind of marked them, so hopefully those marks are in the game. You can go to your map, and you'll actually can, uh, put a waypoint right on their signpost. Now we're going to head over to the wind farm. Now this path leading to the wind farm is very narrow, and we're going to go uphill. Right before it leads to the BT area, you're going to see this big rock in front of us here. I've already scanned it so we can see the memory chip right in front of us. If you go to any of these locations, make sure you just scan and that'll, uh, if you're close enough and looking at it, you can see the, the actual location. All right, so now we are actually going to go to the wind farm. We're going to travel through the the BT area. Hopefully you have yourself a nice, nice zip line network. And doing this post game with a really good zip line network is makes this a lot easier as well as getting five stars on all your facilities and doing your premium deliveries and everything. So here is number two. It's actually behind the wind farm. I placed some arrows on the map because, you know, why not make a guide in the game for other people? Kind of fun to do. It's a very uh, unique online feature. Now we're going to get number 45. So we're going to head to the end of this area. And there's a BT area uh, behind me. But there's also this big kind of cave tunnel. And in the center of this area is going to be number 45. So now we will go towards the end at Port Knot City, and there's going to be two collectibles. One right kind of at the entrance to the area. So as you're approaching the gate, look off to the left-hand side. There's a blue container that's going to be right in front of that. Now notice there is no sign here indicating there's a collectible, so I'm going to place a sign. That way people will be able to see it on their map easier. I don't know if you'll see mine or not. It's highly unlikely you will, but I notice a lot of people in the community tagging all the, the memory chip locations. Next one is going to be a deeper inside the this area here. So we're going to go in, we're going to travel through it, and you can see this big crane area with all these containers. Uh, you can see someone's already put up a ladder over in this direction. 
I've already scanned the memory chip as well. Now, I do a little fumbling here, and I left it in this video because, you know, collectible guides could be fun and silly at the same time. So we're going to climb up this. However, I am going to do my best not to fall off. I'll just... This is embarrassing, but go ahead and watch. <laughs> be careful. Anyway, it's at the top of this container is the... The memory chip, again, make sure you're scanning if you're having trouble locating them. All right, so now we're going to head over to the central region, starting at the Lake Knot City uh, entrance. Now, you can see the the delivery terminals right behind us there. We're actually kind of taking this dead-end path. So as you're coming out of that terminal there, just hang a left and go down this dead-end path, and it'll be right in the end in the back of this truck. Now, once I pick this up, we're going to get another one nearby. So before you exit Lake Knot City, we're going to take a little side path. There's a kind of a tunnel. You go indoors, and then you're going to come out. You can see the blue line there. And you're going to come out to the side. Again, this is before you exit the Lake Knot area. So we're going to just follow this all the way down. Do our best not to stumble along the way. This one's actually pretty well hidden. I was able to find him because someone was kind enough to leave a marker, so I just saw it look, opened the map, and I actually saw it when I zoomed in close enough. All right, so now we're going to exit Lake Knot City area into the Mule Camp area, the rightmost uh, post. You're going to see a bunch of structures here, and there's going to be a, a memory chip inside of here. You're going to see a lot of these memory chips inside the mule or the ter terrorist areas. All right, next up, we're going to head over to Peter Engler. This is the pizza delivery guy. We just need to go into his area, into his little hidden room, which you'll also get a separate trophy unrelated to the collectibles, but you'll get another trophy just visiting this area. There is going to be a memory chip here. Now, I'm going to do this entire central region because there's so many collectibles in kind of a clockwise motion starting on the right side of the map and then working our way over to the mountainous region so this is going to be kind of be in order so we're going to next head to the rune shelter just south of the rune shelter itself you're going to see a memory chip uh, you're going to notice this is also going to be a bt area but the memory chip is actually going to be right before where you have to really deal with any of the bts so right at the entrance to the ruined area All right, so now we are outside the crater where the rune shelter is, and we are just to the west of it. And there's going to be an area you're going to see a bunch of those jellyfish things float in the sky. Don't worry about them, but look for this uh, strange rock formation here that's coming out of the ground. And right at the base of it is where we're going to get number 16. And since there isn't a sign here, I'm going to go ahead and post one for the next porter. Now, just a little southwest of there, we're going to find one kind of in another BT area. So be very, very careful. You're going to see a warehouse inside this warehouse. Inside a container is where you're going to find the memory chip. So again, we're going to go kind of around clockwise this area. We are now in the uh, mule camp area just south of that one. Uh, there's the mule post. On the far left side of this area, there's going to be a bunch of tents here. Inside one of those tents, once again, is going to be the memory chip. Not there. Someone put the sign outside, which is fine. As long as it's nearby, you can find it. All right, so we are now in the next mule camp area over to the right of that. And at the very top edge of it is where we're at. And you're going to see the highway, the road that you can build off to the left-hand side there. The mule camp area is right behind me. And right in front of me is kind of a little little uh, alcove here, and you can see the memory chip just chilling. I'm going to go ahead and pick that up and head over to number 32. This is going to be in the center of that mule camp area, so directly south of where we just were. You can see my blue line from my path. Another blue, to, uh, blue uh, mule camp area, another memory chip. So number 11, which is Christine, is going to be northeast of the Elder 
facility. Um, the elder facility is kind of in a mountainous area. This is going to be inside a cave, kind of at the base of the mountain. So on the northeast side of that mountain, there's going to be this cave or alcove where we're going to find the next memory chip. There it is. I will place a sign. And then we're going to continue east around the base of this this kind of mountain, small mountain. And you're going to see a, a whole bunch of food. You're going to find a food tree. You see it right there. It's pretty obvious. It really stands out. Bunch of food here. Also a memory chip. Never a bad idea to hit likes on these signs, guys. If The more likes a sign has, the more likely it'll appear in other people's games. Just side note there. All right, so we're going to travel just a little south of that previous location. Now, making our way over to the film director. So we're directly north of that. And there's going to be a, a crack in the ground here, and we're going to... We're going to take the rope and get down. I'm going to cut it out here so we're at the bottom. Now make sure you have an oxygen mask. If you don't have an os oxygen mask, you will eventually die unless you're very quick. Or just easier just to get the oxygen mask, pick up this memory chip, as well as all these Cairo crystals down here. All right, so now we're going to head west, directly west, to the next, the big mule camp. And the, and the north side of it is where all the big tents are at. So that's where the memory chip is going to be located. All right, so now we're heading over to the junk dealer. Junk dealer is a little south of the previous location. Just go to the junk dealer and you'll find it on the back side on top of a container over here past these contaminated uh, Cairo crystals put up some arrows so people can direct themselves right to the collectible and there she is all right so now we're going to head down to south knot city so we're going to go around the tar lake and make our way to south knot city and outside of the border of south knot city is going to be uh, an area you can travel out of the this area and we're going to find the collectible in deep in the corner over here you can already see someone sign. God bless them. It really does make this a lot easier for me. If there's no sign, I place one. And if there is one, I hit like as many times as I can. All right, so coming out of South Knot City now, there's going to be... Uh, it's not too far. You're going to see a big tower as you're coming out of South Knot City. Right here. You really can't miss it. Now, you're going to need to build a ladder or hope someone built one for you, as is the case here in my game. So there's a ladder and there's a collectible. Everyone's doing the work for me. I love it. Thanks for the help. Just make sure you bring a ladder with you. Make sure you have it. All right, so now we're going to head to Mama's Lab. When you're staring right at the entrance to Mama's Lab, turn to your left, and there's going to be kind of a small little cave that we can go into. No sign, so you know what I need to do. But first, let me go ahead and pick this thing up. Oh, there's a sign. You just can't see it. The wrong one at that. All right, so number 55. We're going to travel just north of Mama's Lab, slightly east, and you're going to see a highway above you, extending horizontally left to right. Underneath that is another road, and where that road crosses underneath that bridge above you is where we're going to find the memory chip. All right, so now we're heading over to the weather station. We're just traveling uh, quite a bit here to get over to the weather station. You can see it right there, right in front of us. And we turn around, there's this auxiliary satellite thing here just south of the weather station itself. So right on the, the base here, this platform on concrete. Now from there, we're going to actually travel along to the river, or the river is below the waterfall. Now this is memory chip number 31, which you acquire a new bike that you can craft. So that is one of the items that you need to build. But we're going to go ahead and pick up number 31 here. Remember, this is, again, a new vehicle you're going to be able to build after you've, of course, uh, delivered them. All right, so from the... the that previous one at the waterfall we're traveling south along the river and you're going to come to the structure that's in the middle of the river here and thankfully someone left a ladder for me 
And right in front of us on the concrete is going to be the memory chip. So now we're going to head to the mule area just to the west of that. The first mule box that you see is going to be a bunch of uh, tents once again, and we're going to have another memory chip. Now there is another memory chip in the other half of the mule area, but we're going to skip it now instead and head straight far south as far as you can. And there's a big mountain here. Highly don't highly recommend you don't take the route I took from the south. Come from the north west of this mountain and you'll have a nice easy path getting up at least a lot easier than the one i took but then once you make your way all the way to the top a bunch of chiral crystals here also the memory chip and my sign all right soap bubble now we're going to kind of backtrack go over to the time fall farm or time yeah the time fall farm and we need to get onto the roof of this so we're, you could do that from behind it as a angled rooftop here. Once we get to the top, the, it'll be on the far left corner. Someone may have left you a rope that you can just climb up here as well from the front. All right, so now we're gonna go back into that mule area, but now instead of the far right mule post, we're gonna go to the far left mule post and you're gonna see a structure uh, destroyed, burnt out, whatever it is. It's going to be inside of here, up on the second level. There's the stairs going up to it. And then the last one is going to be just north of us, a couple hundred meters, maybe just outside of the mule camp area. Now, if you're coming from the south, you'll see a big rock, and it'll be right behind the rock. If you're coming from the north, it'll be in front of the rock, of course. Now this is going to do it for everything on the to the east of the mountains. Now we're going to travel to the mountains. I'm going to start my mountain journey at the paleontologist, heading up from the veteran porter area. And then I'm going to make my way to the paleontologist and then again counterclockwise around this area. So from the paleontologist, we're going to travel to this big crack area again, just like we did before with the oxygen mask. It's going to be another area very similar to that. So just go to the bottom of that where the gas is at and you'll see the memory chip. This would be just south of the paleontologist facility. Now after you pick this up, we're going to travel west. South of the biologist facility is going to be a mule camp. And there's going to be uh, the large consumption of enemies in the southwest or southeast corner, the bottom right corner of this mule camp area. And once again, just explore the, the tents and you'll find the memory chip. Now from there, we're gonna head over to Hartman's lab. There's actually gonna be two that we need to do in Hartman's lab. And the first one is gonna be just to the left of it, just to the west of it, but it's gonna be up in the mountain still. So you can see the memory chip there. Right on this, this peak right here, right on this corner. And you'll see Hartman's lab directly down in front of us. Now, the second one in this area is going to be in the base of the heart-shaped lake. Go to the bottom of it, to the middle here. We're going to make our way around. And then after we do this, we're going to head over to um, Mountain Knot City. And there's going to be three relatively close to each other here. Let me just throw down a sign because the smiley face sign won't tell anyone where it's at. So again, Mount Not City. And there's this is going to be just outside the exit from the terminal. Uh, when you come out of the exit of it, out of the area, look to your left. You're going to see all bunch of square buildings. We're going to go underneath this poorly placed bridge. Hopefully you don't have that in your game. You're going to see some black substance on the ground in front of us. That is where the memory chip is located. So now we're going to go just a little east of Mount Knot City. A little southeast, rather, down this line here. And there's going to be just one building, one structure. This is going to have the memory chip on it. You can see the previous collectible is right in front of us there. So we're not that far away. Just up the hill a little bit southeast of that previous one. 
Now, if you, here's the memory tip, but if you see my zip line right out in the distance there, that is kind of where I'm going to go next, but in front of that to the right is a building. So I'm going to zip line right up to it and then come down to the building. It's going to be just to the left. There's the big tall one, the zip line behind me. And it's going to be right on the side of the structure right in front of me here. So the next one is going to be between Mount Not City and the Mountaineer facility, kind of between the two. Now you're going to know this area. It's also a BT area. I don't believe I have any BTs in my game when I recorded this for whatever reason, but you're going to see a bunch of pillars in the ground. Difficult to miss, but really easy to see all these packages people have left. That's how you know it's a BT area. So in the pillar area is going to be the memory chip. Now we're going to pick that up and we're going to head over towards the first prepper. Now, southwest of the first prepper is going to be what used to be a cabin. I believe it got destroyed at some point during the story, maybe episode eight or nine. I think it was eight. But here's a cabin. You can see this thing from a mile away because it's the only man-made structure in the area. So again, south of the prepper, pick that memory chip up. Now I'm going to get a collectible near the actual prepper himself. I don't know what I'm doing with BD, BB there. So the prepper, the first prepper, you need to get five star rating with this guy first, and then you need to read his email. So if you got five stars and haven't gotten his email yet, just go to your private rest place and sleep a little, you know, sleep once, and then you'll get an email. After that, you can then climb up. This is just above where the first prepper is located. Again, you got to have five stars with him and have read the email. In fact, a lot of these you need to read emails to unveil. Probably should have mentioned that earlier. All right, so now we're going to head over just to the west of the Mountaineer. And this one's actually kind of out in the middle of nowhere, directly west of the Mountaineer. But we're going to go down this path here. There's going to be a little alcove where this collectible is located. Really easy to miss this one. All right, so I'm going to travel southwest of here, and I'm going to hop on what would be the road from Mount Knot City all the way up to the distribution center, but the road's not currently completed. If it were, it would be on the other side of the river where I'm currently at, kind of at the bottom hook here. So the road would be on the other side. On this side, there's a cave. And apparently rain? I don't know what's going on with all these umbrellas, but back in the corner here is going to be the memory chip. So now we're going to travel up towards a distribution center, but halfway there, there's going to be a mule camp on the kind of in the middle of this area is going to be the memory chip inside all of the tents. Once again, just like the previous ones. All right. So now we are going to go to the distribution center north of Mount Knot City. We're going to find this one just south of the actual entrance to it. It's going to be right on the top of the hood of this vehicle. You need to climb up the front fender, either the left one or the right one, in order to be able to reach it. So next up, head to the mule camp directly east of that previous one. This is not our first mule camp, so you'll know exactly what to do. I believe it's a terrorist camp, technically. So now we're going to travel just a little northeast of there, and there's going to be the incinerator. Uh, the incinerator, again, you have to have five stars. I believe with the way station north of Mountain, not city, I believe. But you have to get up to the roof. There's angled roofs on or angled sides of the building, so it's really easy to just walk up to the top here. Go to the center of the area. We can see the memory chip already right in front of us. And then we have only one more collectible in the central region. And then we have three more on the western region. Only three. So the next one is going to be kind of between the way station and the incinerator. Kind of out in the middle here. 
kind of out in the middle of nowhere. Just get close enough and scan and you should be able to tag it easily. So let's now head over to that western region. There's only three of them, one on each end and the one right in the middle. So from the distribution center on the north side, when you come out of it, you, you'll almost walk right past this. It's, as long as you scan once you exit, you'll see it very easy. Hopefully someone put up a sign. Maybe it was mine. There we go. I didn't put one up. Danielle did. All right, so in the middle of the area is where we're going to find the next one. And we're going to actually kind of walk past it and kind of circle back around to it just because we don't want to fall. So as you're making your way through the city, look for a ramp on the left side that you can safely get to the bottom here. And then just turn around, circle back, and you'll see it right in front of you. Now the final one is going to actually be really, really easy. We're just going to go to Edge Knot City, walk right past the delivery terminal, and head straight to the back right corner. And that is where you're going to find this memory chip. So that is going to be the final one. Again, look at the description and the pinned comment if you're just looking for a specific number. But remember, once you've collected all of the memory chips, you do have to go back to the delivery terminal. Turn them all in, at which point you will then get the bronze trophy. It should be a at least a silver trophy, but whatever. We get a bronze. I want to thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you liked it, make sure you hit the like button. If you hated it, no, hit the dislike button.